Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Chat! Today we have Smash Mario Pro 2000. Yo! Coming from his channel, what they would do. How's it going guys? And Omega Snake. Hey there everyone, Omega Snake here. And based on the title of the video, we're talking about DLC speculation for Smash Ultimate! There's quite a number of things that we really need to go over here, but... First things first, we all the data mine stuff, and uh... Just in case you guys were wondering if we were ever going to talk about Microsoft and Cuphead, yes, but later. Later, but first, there's other... More returning modes for 800, CJ. Yes, we're going into returning modes, because in more data mine leaked information, we've been able to discover that some people have been able to find information regarding Stage Builder and Home Run Contest. What's interesting is that they've been able to find them based in the help portion of the game. That's pretty interesting, really? but yeah. It's not like they found like things that say like, oh, here's Stage Builder and what it's going to be. It's more like it's actually in the help feature. Hmm. I think so, these are like hints of what the modes are about. The, you know, when you're on loading screens, like these tips pop up. No, 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 no. Like the actual help. Actually, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Now, here, now I do have a bit of a concern about the about this because it's like, it has happened before that uh, Nintendo has put in a red herring or two for data miners, such as like the only I thing can't it, remember. like the only thing I can really honestly think of in data mine terms is uh, Mario, Mario, and Mario. Uh, uh, well, I don't even like, know what that's referencing. Where's that from? Uh, in in the uh, Wii U version, they did name the last three DLC character files as Mario, Mario, and Mario so that nobody could actually guess who the characters were. I can't yeah. believe yeah. that Mario was going to be in DLC. I couldn't I can't believe that. No, there was but but I'm just saying though though that it that based on that they have found a way to uh they have found ways to uh kind of uh prevent data miners from finding what they what they really want to hide. I'm not saying that's not possible, but you know, I'm just saying we should always look at things like this with a grain of salt. Right. Right. Um, yes. However, I don't think it's completely out of the realm of possibility. As some... Oh no, I never said. That. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, some people have been saying that that pixel image that they showed off in the last direct is probably stage builder. And to be honest, home run contest coming back. I can't say I'm excited for it. It's an anime, but okay. It doesn't seem like it's a mode that's incredibly hard to put back in. I can't wait to utterly destroy that mode with Ganondorf, though. Booyah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah! Uh, if I may, what I want to say, is, though, is that I don't know why they took that out in the first place. It's been, it's basically been a mainstay mode and kind of just a fun to experiment mode modes ever since melee and i was surprised they took a home run contest uh it, well in it uh, probably, ultimate it was probably just because of time restraints that's what i'm assuming at least that's the only thing and i can really think of just... because to be honest it never really felt like it added much to the game itself i mean honestly can you honestly say like hey guys i'm done with this i'm gonna go play some home run contest now like i, I can't see well, that i mean look at smash v they took out Home run contest online when it was a feature in Brawl. Yeah, and then there was and don't forget about the fact of the the YouTube community. Sometimes they really like to post on what they found to give the ultimate uh, the ultimate hit for for the sandbag and go make him go really far. Yeah, usually it's Ganondorf reverse Warlock punch. Yeah, mixed with Yoshi's down aerial yep. just to keep rack. So, or Roy's neutral B. So, there, oh, so, yeah. there, so I'm so it coming back does not surprise me. My question is why'd they remove it in the first place? It was it's basically a a, a classic mode for Smash Brothers since Melee. I'm kind of curious if they're actually going to give us another direct to show us the version 3.0, or if they'll just give us like a little mini video that shows what's actually going to be in it. Uh, but based on that, do you think? that there could be other modes coming back in future updates as well. There's still... It feels like there's a lot of things that were taken out of Ultimate. Like, it, it kind of feels a bit barren in some areas. Like, it's uh, not as much as what we usually get. But do you think that they could yeah. bring back things like... Uh, oh, say, I think Smash Target Run? Smash is... Yeah, Target Smash. Oh, Smash Run. Smash, Smash Run, run for the platforms. Like, do you think any oh. of these modes have a chance of coming back? 
Smash Run, I think, has the most chance because there's a lot of ideas that Sakurai had. Like, they, he originally wanted, like, this light versus dark for uh, Smash Run, I, but that was taken up because oh, of okay. th- 3 is hardware. Okay. I thought that was something uh, else. Maybe it's something I didn't read up on yet. Cool. Um, uh, uh, Source Gaming, don't... <laughs> if I got it wrong, Source Gaming, don't come after me. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll end up on Sakurai I never said that. <laughs> I will send push Dustin and then ten jacks after you. <laughs> and I'll have the Duke um, of Dorks help me. <laughs> I think for sure sorry. No, oh, no, sorry, you go. I've been talking too much. Um I think for sure that the target smash will be coming back. It's just a matter of will it be something like we got in Brawl, which is just a few fixed stages, or I honestly think I think it's possible that they could do one for each character. I know that's insanely optimistic, it's not, but it's not impossible. Yeah, you know? it's not impossible. However, as I said before in the last Smash chat I did with the Duke of Dorks, I honestly think it's a better idea if they had a, uh, a target test based on every franchise for the character. I think that would make it yeah. way more interesting, and it also uh, give it its own flavor. So imagine like yeah. a Mario-styled uh, target test. But then you had like the characters that only have one, so you get one for Sonic and Mega Man and Snake and uh, uh, Pac Man and. It is your idea that Mario and other characters can still go on the Sonic target hat? No, target unfortunately, hat? it's like exclusive to that franchise. I gotcha. I gotcha. Like it, it's like similar to how they were in Melee in '64, how they were exclusive to a character, but instead of a character specific, it's just a franchise. I got it. right. I can see that happening. Yeah. And yeah. The- I mean, that would allow him, them to put him in without putting in so much work be- if it's not based on character. Yeah, right. that, that's, that'd be less for them to model. Board the platforms would be really, really great to come back, but I that one may just seem like it would take too much time to implement. It's yeah. possible if, if they bring back or um, break the targets, they could like mix the two modes together that you would have to go through a course... Breaking targets while also boarding platforms. I like oh, this crazy like concept. Uh, <laughs> I actually like it too. No, now I want it to happen. Why do you do this to me? I, or maybe I, it's break the platforms. <laughs> break the platforms. <laughs> oh, I broke the platform. That's not a bad idea. Fall, <laughs> you fall to your death. Like, you know what? Think about that. Break the platforms. Like, you actually have to be a little more tactical and requires a little bit of problem solving. Solving Because if you break the one, the wrong one too early, you're not going to be able to break the other ones and you fall to your death. That is a genius idea and a lot of yeah, them are really is. Like, just, up even. Like, I honestly feel like Smash could do with a, with a, with a puzzle mode. So why not break the platforms? Yes. That, that, that like, Smash can do so game. much as a fighting game because it's not restricted like other fighting games. It can be a platformer. It can be a puzzle game. It can be... It can basically be almost anything at this point. Uh, the only, C- CJ, the did only... you just call Smash a, part, a, sm- a fighting game? It's a party game. <laughs> it's a party fighting game. <laughs> and yeah, to be honest, uh, I, from what I've been seeing in Smash recently, I think yeah. there's a lot of things that actually make it counter uh, competitive. So I'm almost tempted to go back to just time with items and hat stage hazards <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know. It's just listen. Uh, that's but, that's uh, why they got to bring back Smash Tour. That's what everyone really. Wants. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, no. the world of light kind of <laughs> is like that. Kind of. Yeah, except it's a. Uh, there's there's I one thing I want, CJ. Yeah. The uh the I think the big one, and I'm really sad they didn't do this. I want boss battles. A boss rush. Yeah, that'd be nice. I. Like, yeah. And more bosses, yes. In? If you just look at my stream, you can see that the that for me the boss battles were always the funnest aspect, especially during the boss rush during the World of Light's epic finale. And it and it's just like why couldn't we have this as a regular mode like in Brawl? Cuz that was always fun to do. See how many bosses you can beat before you get KO'd. And yeah. it just makes no sense. I want. Um, I named my boss fix, guys. I'm the boss strategist for a reason. I fight bosses. Now, how Plus, would you? Uh, how would you feel if they added in bosses as DLC? 
That's an interesting give me, idea. Give me now! Yeah. Give me friggin' now! <laughs> and, and here's the best part. They wouldn't have to have Xander Momus re-record the line because in Smash Bros. he did say boss battles as a line. Yeah, he, he doesn't even have to say the characters. Yeah. yeah. I could see them adding boss, boss battles. Rush. What? I, yeah, honestly, I feel like one of the I feel like one of the uh, DLC they could do is add PD Piranha, but instead of making him the final smash, just uh, reuse PD Piranha from Brawl. There was some data mine back in the Wii U version I that they were planning on having PD Piranha in there. Yeah, you could have PD Piranha back. You could have Porky back. And then, uh, and then of course, there's the whole data mine, inf or not data mine, but the s DLC speculation that we got from Virgibin. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to take any of the credibility, give him credibility for DLC. Uh, he got so much of it right before the game came out, but when it came to DLC, he's been kind of proven wrong. However, he did say that uh, he heard that the Minecraft content that was supposed to be in the game would be a boss fight, and everybody kept thinking it was the Endo Dragon or the Ender Dragon, and I'd be more than okay with that. And to see the idea of more bosses getting in as DLC, sign me up. Yeah. Honestly, CJ, I would be okay with having a bit of a like a a world a World of Light like DLC campaign, like add in, <laughs> add in an extra add in an extra <laughs> map, some extra. Uh, I'm sorry, man, but World of Light was uh, way too long and tedious. Just oh. Give me spirit boards, and you were fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This, like, just add in one additional, one additional board, board with like some extra spirits, a, a an extra boss You're, or two, and that would be, that would be great. Like, that would maybe, be a great DLC pack. Maybe it could be after after the DLC pack one, as like another incentive for buying all five and one. You also get like this little tiny board to add to World of Light with a boss or two added. Okay, yeah, that would be fine. That I'd be okay with. Um, okay, so is there may. any other any other modes? Um, uh, going uh, back to the idea of Smash Run returning, please, please <laughs> add the feature yeah. to interact with our opponents. How about please. just the online function if it comes back? And if yes. I'm going to be daring enough, can I please uh, add in? Like three or four different maps to run on. Yeah, because yeah, that was that the thing about Smash Run. Great. It was fun, but then it just—it's it, really—it's. I mean, it's, it's fun, it is a fun mode, but it does get kind of repetitive with how much you play on the same map. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but still, though, I feel like I do feel like Smash Run would be great because of the Switch's handheld ability. That even if they can't get online play, they can do still local play flawlessly. Now, yeah. I am a bit concerned that they may not be able to put, like, the enemies back in, because that would take way too much time and work, but I'd be okay if they just put in the assist trophies. Have, like, some mini characters as just the normal enemies, like the clap traps, Or if they, yeah. if they could use reuse assets from the 3DS and bring them in, they could port those guys <laughs> well, we over, know, but otherwise... You know from the... Sorry, we know from the Isabel glitch that you can have 70 assist trophies on the screen at once. So <laughs> yeah. just picture as you're going through a smash run, just beating a horde of Waluigi's. <laughs> and then like, and, and then a horde of Rathalos shows up. <laughs> oh, yes. Like assist trophy horde. Yes. So imagine like just you encounter like these little tiny weak enemies and then all of a sudden fight a super strong zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that, that would that would be insane. Yeah, that would be great. And but the fact of the matter is that you just brought up something really good. Uh, what they sh what they should do is that <laughs> because of that glitch, the fact that the game can run with that with that kind with that with uh, those many enemy uh well you know models and stuff like that on screen and still run shows that the Switch has some great processing power. So right. Smash well, Run. Well, but is that's that only fun? local player. Well, remember, it's it's we funny don't you say that, that because if because if you go to Found of Dreams and Shield, the game chugs. Yep, yep. Because it's processing the same thing twice. It's the yeah. same idea with the Wii Fit Studio. Speaking of which, Alucard doesn't show up as an assist trophy on the Wii Fit Trainer stage, but does he show up on Fountain of Dreams? Uh, I haven't I, tested I, it. I, uh, 
I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. But uh, we should move on. Yeah, we'll keep moving wait. on. Yeah. I think so. I think we're all done with returning modes, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I got nothing else. Okay. So could I actually say one small concern? I okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I was thinking, I don't know if um, Stage Builder is going to be coming in this pack simply because we know Mario Maker 2 is coming out. And most people will get their creative fixes out from that game, that whole game based on level editing. So maybe they could bring back the stage editor maybe in the next version, like 4.0. Um, you know? I'm not sure. I don't think they th were going to be thinking too much into that. I think if the if the thing is ready, then they'll put it in. Uh, he did bring. I did forget about stage builder. So, uh, it's up to you if we do this, CJ. But do do you think we should share just one thing we hope the stage editor will have? I want to be able to include hazards from the stages. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And please, please, please give us more options because going like Smash we use was just pitiful. I mean, you could draw the stage anyway, but like when adding like hazards and stuff, it was like the bare oh, yeah. minimum. Brawl was better in that regard. Yeah, like can we get like a mixture of the two? Uh, and how and uh, how about maybe adding adding in a uh, like maybe tell where item spawn points are. Or we, or give us like more themes, or we could have uh, themes based on like existing stages. Yeah, using or, any background from any existing stage would be nice. Yeah, or like and and uh, this is something that I personally have studied because I'm kind of a top class of expert choosing whether we can have star chaos, screen chaos, or none of them. Ooh, Ooh right, they'll keep the game helpful. going. All right. Okay. I, I th honestly, the only thing I I would really want is just like being able to uh ha like have a set maybe set rules for a stage. Like for example, if you made a stage specifically for like uh, a basketball kind of that kind of thing, you could have it so that that stage will only spawn soccer balls or things like that. <laughs> well, I think that's something you had to do by yourself, to be honest. Like, yeah, that might be a bit complex to make that a standard. I mean, it's not like you can't do that anyway. Just, like, have soccer balls as the only item and set them to high. It, it, was, it, was, just a, it was just an idea where you can just set a specific rule set for a stage you created kind of thing. Right. But, I mean, like, you could just <laughs> name it that and then set up the rules on your, on your own. I don't think they'd be able to do that for every stage. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, was, moving, um, so moving on... Me costumes because you can't tell me there's not a couple of me costumes that you would like to see get in. I it still surprises me or kind of disappoints me I guess is that we didn't get any of the third party DLC me costumes put in the base game. We got the Nintendo ones but not the third party. That's kind of a bummer. I blame the third parties. I'm hoping that they do come back. All of them. I would love to see them all come back, especially the Gino, the Knuckles, the Tails, and the Lloyd Irving. I miss right, those right. so much. Yeah, I, I do agree. Uh, I just came up with one idea for a, a me costume, and uh, how well since Joker is going to be in is coming to Smash, I would like to see a me costume with his partner Ryuji, Ryuji Sakamoto. Uh, he ha uh, also known as Skull with the Phantom Thieves. Uh, the his main costume is that he has a leather jack, like you know, a motorcycle gang gang member kind of vibe he uses blunt weapons including baseball bats and his mask is basically that of a top of a skull he has blonde hair too I, so I th what if they made a me costume for uh it, what's the cat's name is that morgana or morgana, yeah, morgana. morgana. Yeah. there you go but wait but here's the thing if you wear the me costume of morgana you can tell people to go to sleep <laughs> that me won't die <laughs> Uh, as far as any other costumes, I would love to see maybe a Girahim costume. Uh, I would, I, I'd be so thrilled if they gave me a Bomberman me costume, a Wonder, oh. a Wonder Red and a Wonder Blue costume, and yes. a Knights that's into that's... Dreams costume. That'd be, oh. oh, that'd be really cool. Although, if there's one me costume I would want to, I wouldn't want to see because it would basically tease me. Is a Sora me costume? Uh, I, because I want him to be playable. Uh, Sora. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. 
But, no, that would like, be a tease. That, that would, no, no, that like, would just be heartbreak. That would be a fear I don't want to face. <laughs> I won't face my fears. <laughs> I'll face my fears except that one. <laughs> one fear. <laughs> uh, I do have one other Persona idea costume, and that is, with, again, with Joker, we could get me costumes mm. for Persona 3 hero and the Persona 4 hero. Oh, that'd be cool. Possible. I hear that. Different colors also. Ooh, do you think they might have, like, some Street Fighter costumes? Like a... Uh, Guile. A Guile, a Chun-Li. Which, oh, that would be which other, which other Capcom me costumes were there in Smash Wii U? Oh, which they were all mean? basically Mega Man. <laughs> right. right. Ooh, right, base! Right. Base me costume! Yes! Yes! Base! I'm surprised it wasn't in the base game. I, I honestly think one of the reasons is that we didn't get any of the third parties me costumes is just because if they are selling those as little accessories for those that didn't want to buy the fighter pack, it would be easier to, to keep track of, you know, which players specifically wanted the Namco uh, me costume and like more of the profit would go directly to said third party. Yeah. So yeah. your whole the whole idea of other characters from... Sega, like the Nights into Dreams, that would work perfectly because it's just showing there's that fan demand, that fan interest for another Sega rep. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they also yeah. had the Virtual Fighter. Uh, the Mikasa. Right. How, right. Ro- How about Rodan's outfit from Bayonetta? Oh, from Bayonetta. Ah, I, mean, uh, I could. See I mean, that. come on. I could see that. Yeah. I do feel like uh, any characters that are in DLC, or not, I'm sorry, not DLC, but maybe as more like assist trophies could definitely get uh, some Mii Fighter costumes. Yeah. Yeah. A full Waluigi outfit. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Oh, isn't there already one in there? Uh, It's just a hat, if I recall correctly. Give them the overalls. Give them a nose and a mustache. (laughs) Gotta have it, gotta have it. (laughs) Man, it's like... I swear to God, it's like I I do feel a little sorry for Waluigi, but not much. I don't. Really I like feel him. sorry for Sakurai, and I feel sorry for the fans that are good, not the cancer ones. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, is there any other kind of car- uh, costumes that you feel like would really be would really just stick out or say like, oh, I gotta have this one. Um, I think one that would be cool is if, like, it's an 8-bit Mega Man. <laughs> I, think, I think you're thinking of more, like, uh, alter- alternate Character. costumes, yeah. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, I lost my Fire Mario costume. I, I want loved, my Sunshine Mario, Walt. I loved my Wolf White and Red costume. I loved yeah. that one so much. I will gladly fork over a dollar to get it back. For sure, for sure. Nah, I can't really think of anything, sadly. Uh, but uh, in terms of uh, Mii Fighter costume, the only other thing I could think of is maybe Animal Crossing costumes, because like we have Isabel now. Well, so who's left? Mr. Maybe... Rossetti? Or, uh, <laughs> or uh, what's the raccoon's name? Tom, Tom Nook. Nook. They could get Tom a Tom Nook, Nook costume in there. So yeah, Tom Nook, or okay. may, or maybe the sellers of retail. Or how about the uh, the, the mailman or the, the pelican? Is that wasn't that it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I think, I, yeah okay. I guess you can get some stuff in there. Plus, they did have amiibos of some of these I, characters, so I guess that's possible. Yeah. You know what? Maybe they should make it so that if you have the amiibo, you can get those costumes for free. Yeah. Uh, um, one of the, maybe a me costume that would probably be perfect for Joker is a Jack Frost costume. Like, oh yeah, like, yeah, because Jack Frost is kind of the mascot of the Shin Megami Tensei series. It's just like the Chocobo costume we got for Cloud. The same idea. Yeah, yeah. I I agree. We I agree. Uh, Smash Brother Sakurai, get on get on that. Bring in Jack Frost. <laughs> I. I could see them bringing in Stylux or any of the other Metroid Prime Hunters, unless one of them is, you know, a character, because we don't, we haven't had any of them as spirits, as far as I know. I think they were, but Stylux was the only one that was not a spirit, which led us, which was something we'll actually go over later. 
That's something I, gotcha, I'll bring gotcha. up. That's something I will bring up later. But uh, I think it's time that we can move on to our next category. Yeah. Do you think that the possibility <laughs> of bonus Echo Fighters will exist? And I'm not talking about like the DLC remaining characters are going to be just Echo Fighters. I'm talking more like we'll get the five that were promised. And then if Sakurai feels like he's got some extra time and some extra resources, he'll put in the the Echoes as an extra bonus. And that's all they are. That's all they've ever been. And I do think that after the well reception of the Echo Fighters, just because of the branding and label itself, that they might actually do this. So do you think that they might actually do it? And who would you like to see? I think these could work. It's and I think one of the characters that would probably be like the front runner is the Octolings from Splatoon. Agreed. Agreed. Also, I don't. Yeah. I think when it comes to Echo Fighters, I don't think spirits or even assist trophies should matter that much because they don't take up that much time and resource. So, honestly, I'd be more than okay with seeing Shadow as an, a bonus Echo Fighter. And considering that so many people were disappointed, I think he could be like an an idea for them to look into. I don't think I'm yeah. not sure if they will, but I don't think it completely rules his chances because you know echoes are not the same thing as like they're br- uh, making a brand new character. So I don't th- think that's a pro- I don't think that should be a problem. And to those who think it's going to be weird seeing Shadow as an assist trophy as well as a fighter, well, we have so many paradoxes in itself right now. But right. even if that's not the case. <laughs> I think the everything is every, everything oh. is crom in the future. But what I mean, but what I'm also thinking of is the possibility that they could just actually just remove or block an assist trophy from uh, being used. And everybody, you can And even if somebody didn't upgrade or didn't download it, it doesn't matter because you can't play with another person unless they're on the same version as you. Right. Right. I mean the. Yeah. F- the fact, that, the fact that we know they can take out Alucard from certain stages because of his reflection, we know that they can program just to not have certain assist trophies show up depending on the match that you're fighting. I oh, very good point. I, I also have a workaround to allow Shadow in, if you allow me. Okay. Uh, they could make the fighter, the fighter, uh, Sonic Boom Shadow. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not. Uh... Let's not. I... Uh, his design was the exact same. <laughs> it kind of was, but what's the point? Sonic Boom is basically dead, and unless you're really well, gonna. The, well, the reason why I said that is that so that because that way it's like you could allow allow assist trophy sh- Shadow in while Shadow's in there, but you know it's like it it's just that uh, they will look a little different and you won't get confused kind of kind of thing where it's like you know if he has his Sonic Boom look then. Then it's like it's a com- then you can make the argument it's a completely different shadow doesn't count. Yeah, but you at this point it, better... it almost doesn't matter because I mean as we brought up with Crom it just they don't even pay attention to the continuity anymore. Not to mention that you can have Knuckles as an assist trophy and you can see Knuckles running in the background of Green Hill Zone. Right. Yeah. They yeah, could yeah, they could just true. bring live action Sonic as a better Sonic Echo. You <laughs> out now. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> you know how, <laughs> how much that would be people. <laughs> Oh, that'd be good. No. Okay, so other Echo um, Fighters, I I would honestly oh, be okay. I got one. Okay. Medusa. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, <laughs> uh I would still I actually have I'd still would like to see Dixie as a Medusa. I still want to see Dixie as a semi echo of of Diddy, Diddy Kong. And Diddy I mean, he's she'd be a mixture of Diddy and Donkey Kong, to be honest. Yeah, Donkey Kong's up B yeah. kind of Yeah. It'd be it'd be basically like what Chrom is to Roy. It's kind of yeah, a mixture between them. And I, I think will... that's actually for sure happening down the line. Just because notice in this game, uh, Diddy Kong doesn't use his tail for any animations, besides for maybe his victory animations. So that's the main difference between Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong. She doesn't have the tail, obviously. But to be honest, so the fact that... but to be honest, the rapid jab could still have been her ponytail anyway. Right, yeah. right, right, right. No, no, I, I'm agreeing. I'm saying it's more proof that. In theory, she could be coming later on just because his skeleton animations were completely re- reworked. Okay. To fit for Dixie's. Um, hey, uh, CJ, uh, do you mind if I uh, say, uh, if, do you mind if I say uh, what I think, uh, how I think Medusa could work? I think it's kind of obvious. I mean, they're echoes. They're going to be well, very similar. They may have some different appearances and different animations for taunts, but when it comes to the attacks, most of them are going to be pretty much identical. Well, I 
Well, I just have one idea of... They could also make it so that... Uh, do you remember the custom attacks that Palutena, that Palutena had in the... In Smash, right? In Smash Four, right. yeah. Like maybe she could, maybe Medusa could get a couple of, could actually get a couple of their of those instead of instead of everything Palutena has, as and you know they it's could a possibility. But which attacks would you give her? They could that. Uh, that's the thing. I don't remember what custom attacks. So, so I actually uh, had this similar idea. I'm yeah. personally more of a fan of Veridi over Medusa, <laughs> but like for instance, the up B would be the rocket jump. And then it could also, you know how Palutena is down B now combined to two attacks. Yeah. So they're basically missing seven custom moves, and you can combine more attacks to make that work. So the up B could be the rocket jump that also turns into glide, which was one of Palutena's, I believe, side B's, custom side B's. Right. Something like that. So they could make the. Uh, the firework attack turn into heavenly light, like if you hold it down, you know what I mean? Well, that'd be cool. I still yeah. want to push for the original Echo Fighter idea I had, which was an Echo Fighter for Greninja, which would either be Sceptile or uh, Grovile. Because... Probably Grovile, because Sceptile's a, a little bigger. Yeah. Still, I would be... I think there's a lot that they could work with with that, and I... Be totally down with it. I, I want to see one of my boys get in. Yeah, um, here's the, th here, here's, I here's the thing with Grovile, CJ. <laughs> here's the thing with Grovile, CJ. Uh, if he gets in, he would represent a series, a part of the franchise that haven't been represented. I the know. Mystery Dungeon series. I know. Yeah. Oh no, I was also talking about like Generation Three. Three. Oh, well, Gen <laughs> Three. That uh, and Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, that's too. Uh, the only. Echo Fighter, I had an idea for it that I no longer want is Ninten. I'm sorry. After the after the horrible encounters we've all had with Ness and Lucas and Quick Play, I no longer want to see another Earthbound representative. I'm sorry, you guys have ruined it. Uh, I can confirm. I I was at a tournament and I had to play Ness. It was not fun. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can someone explain that to me? We we can cut this out. But can someone explain that to me? What do you mean? Uh, like why, like. Oh uh, wait, was Ness and Lucas prominent in tournaments or what? Is it just uh, because they're spammy with the yes, PK fire? Yes, that or... too. And I think Lucas has actually been banned from tournaments. Why? I didn't know that. PK really. freeze. Yeah. Dude, that thing, that <laughs> thing can kill okay, at but... sixty off the side. I I think all of that can be easily nerfed by the next patch. I hope so. But even if they yeah. don't, there's not much they could give Nintendo to make him feel like he's. Like anything else? I mean, yeah. the, come, come on. Do so, we really want a third PK Thunder, PK Fire, PK Freeze? We don't well, need this. I can well, still hear the screams. <laughs> well, remember, remember, uh, between Lucas and Ness, they had either PK PK Flash or PK Freeze, so he could get something different for his neutral B. Yeah, but then he would almost no longer be an Echo Fighter. Right. I picture him working. Basically, they pick and choose different moves from Ness and Lucas and just make him a perfect uh, combination of the two. A hybrid. Yeah. 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 Um, my my idea, if we want to keep dwelling on Ninten, is that even if he does play similarly to Ness, he would be he would have a different aesthetic. Basically, in, in the original Earthbound and all of the promotional art, they have this claymation looking style. Hmm. So, just like how they made Yarn Yoshi or... Uh, or crafted Yoshi, how he has that different aesthetic style. Maybe Nintendo, the big thing that separates him, if not his moves, could be just how he looks on screen. Yeah, yeah possible. Uh, Do you think we should? Yeah, we Do can... have anyone have any other ideas? Yeah. Sorry. Um, just well, for me, I brought up the uh, thing with the Octoling. Right. Uh, something that could be different about them is the rapid jab. Instead of using the splatter shot, it could use the octo brush. That'd be a difference. How about their I mean, up smash? Instead of being the splatter shot or whatever that was, it, the it's blaster. The blaster. It could be like the umbrella. Ooh, that'd be cool. Like they could have some moves from Splatoon too. Exactly. That's what would help them really stand out from them, but still being similar to them enough to still label them as an echo. Yeah, similar to, like, Ken. Yeah. 
I don't know if they would make a whole nother um, fighter pass just for echoes, but I could see them adding more echoes as promotional items, basically. Like you guys are talking about Splatoon 2, but think in a few years when we have Splatoon 3 on the horizon, if you pre-order that game, you get the Inklings for free. Or excuse me, you get the Octolings for free. Okay, so moving on, uh, the online portion of Smash Ultimate is you got one thing right and everything else sucks. So yeah. either can we get some new features or can we get something to fix this stuff? Uh, online tournaments, right. please come back. Yes. Online tournaments, we need you yes, back. Yes, I would love to see online tournaments. Or even being able to host our own online tournaments as an actual yes. tournament. Not not like not like what we had last time, but as an actual bracket. It was over glorified Smash Rooms. <sighs> last time. Uh, well, what was the one thing they got right? The one thing they got what they got right was being able to create your own arena. I love but that. You can't change the moves in the middle. You can't change the settings in the middle. Yeah. Like, can we change that? And can we add SmackDown and Smash uh, and uh, Squad Strike to it? Please. Squad Strike, yes, Squad Strike would be please. amazing. Those, those are perfect for uh, those are perfect for online. Like just having a like just a, as additional modes instead of just either free for all or just like you know the normal Smack. Smash modes, like, I'd be fine with just having sudden death added. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a sudden death mode. Well, I mean, that's actually in the options anyway. You could just do, like, 300%, right? right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was I was thinking of one reason, maybe, that they didn't bring uh, Squad Strike. You guys were talking earlier that, let's say, one opponent downloaded Joker, but the other didn't. Then, do you guys think they uh... would be ma matched up, or...? Do you think not? Oh, I think you're thinking of like, Smashdown, right? Squad Strike could still right, right, work, right. but Smashdown, yeah, that could be a problem. However, well, no, even in even in Squad Strike, let's say you're matched up with your opponent, and all of a sudden one of their picks. Well, is, I, think I, I think I think it'd be like you choose your three characters, and then your opponent has a different roster, like with based on their own game. So, like, it'd be oh, similar so to. You like, like you set up your team be, ahead of time and then you fight your there's also yeah, the mercy rule. To, uh, there's the mercy like, rule so much... where if you win enough uh then you don't have then the matches are already done you don't have to go through the entire yeah. roster i think that might actually yeah. be more of a default automatic instead of option yeah i uh if if i may say so i would say with squat with squad strike um it will basically uh, I guess they could make it so that they would look at everyone, and if that if someone doesn't have the latest roster, then that character won't appear for anyone. Well, oh, here's that's, the, that's, uh, that kind of takes away the fun for the people that um, actually paid for it. Think, uh, if you go back to Smash people. Wii U and 3DS, uh, I didn't for a while. I didn't have Ryu, Lucas, and Roy, but I still matched up with people with Lucas. I think because here's how I think Squad Strike would work. You have your own roster while your opponent has their own roster, and they'll be able to choose from their own. So Get even if you wouldn't have Joker, you, they you'd still be able to match up with them because he's still in that patch. So it wouldn't cause any issues. Right, right, right. Okay, so anything else for online features besides fixing everything? <laughs> the only other thing I can really think of is... Uh... Uh, br actually, bring in, bring back in the event, the uh, events from uh, from four. You know, where playing a certain character allows you to vote for those. That's actually that's actually fun. And oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's like that was honestly a little fun and gonna make, and it basically sometimes uh, uh, makes you want to play it, play with other characters to add in your vote, vote for the uh, for the event. Like I kind of want them. I kind of want that back, honestly. What do you guys think? I, um, I can see why. Bring back the ability to bet and spectate. Yes. Because spectate is basically pointless yes. now. If I want to watch a, somebody play Smash, I'm gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> but but watch you wouldn't be able to reel. see some high gameplay by p someone just pressing the B button. Uh, high octane action. Yeah. Okay. So... I do miss a uh, replay channel though. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah uh, but I think we can move on to the, the next one then. Uh, there's not much they can really do t for the online features. Just fix a number of things in the online mode. Also, uh, 
Make it so that when a person disconnects, you still earn GSP points, and the other person yeah. is heavily penalized for it! Yes, please yeah, do something about the rage yeah. winner! Instead of yeah, just... What? Why are you all punished? Like, why are you punished for someone else rage quitting? Uh, yeah, not? like, it, like it doesn't have to be a big, a big, uh, GSP, GSP thing, but just at least, at least, like, you gain at least half of what you would have gotten if you, uh, if the match, uh, played all the way. Like, at least something. From what I've heard, the only pun, the only penalty for leaving a, a match is you get like a 10 minute uh, restriction. You don't get to come back on, and it, it builds up the more times you do it. But even then, that's League of Legends. That's how League of Legends does it, by the way. But here's the thing: it doesn't even matter. I beat it just the other day, I, and I recorded this, so I've got my evidence right here. I was just about to beat this guy. I was King DDD. I just used my hammer on him, and right when it's showing off that finishing blow. You could see the little circle, the little circle in the corner, because this guy couldn't take the fact that I just now beat him and wasted all this time. So whatever the penalty is, has to be harsh. Right. He, he's he's yeah. like, oh, I lost. Grabs an Ethernet cord, unplugs. Exactly. And um, I think you can also disconnect by just going to the home menu. Yeah, if you're on, if you're idle on it for quite a while, you, in that it's. It's bad the way they uh, do it. Uh, can I, uh, can I tell you about how League of Legends uh, does it, CJ? Uh, I mean, tell me, to be honest, I could probably tell. You, we could just say how Overwatch does it too. Yeah, well, there are yeah, plenty of just... ways to do it. I think, but there are plenty, some nice examples. But I think what we need to do is move on because <laughs> we're starting to oh, go. Yeah, we are. We're we're taking up a lot of time here. All right, you're right. You're uh, right. Uh, this, so for possible, yeah. next one is possible backup characters, and by that I mean, and this is something we can go over real quickly. Let's say, for example, Silex was going to be planned as a character for DLC to help promote Metroid Prime Four. However, right. since Metroid Prime Four is kind of in uh, getting Wait a reason, getting a new leash on life, this may yeah. have ruined the good promotional deal that they would have had. So do you think in a situation like this that they have other characters to use in case one of them doesn't go through? Mm. Oh. Hmm. Well, we know I... they brought a list of potential characters to Sakurai, yes. and basically it was his choice which of these five would I most would I most easily be able to make a character out of. I think that's how how it went down. Like Nintendo gave him the the list and said pick five. Yeah. Or am I mis am I am I misunderstanding that? No, no, no. That's how it worked. That's how it went. What I want to know is, you don't have to tell me the names that were on that list. I just want to know how many were on that list. Did you only give them like six characters to pick from? How many were on there? <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> the thing is, CJ, uh, this category doesn't really. I don't really think we could talk much about no, it. No, we can't. But we I, I still think it's don't... an interesting topic to bring up. It's it's, yeah. it's something but we don't have to go in depth on, but it's something to think about. Can this? Yeah. It's possible that that those thirty characters that we got that we found out in the in the data mine that they just had buffer space for thirty characters. Ooh. So it's possible that on that list that they showed Sakurai, maybe we had thirty characters. Oh, yeah. and he's like, uh, nope, nope, nope only are... five, <laughs> only five. <laughs> right, right, he's right. Like... He's like, I had to, I had to go through like a thousand votes to choose one character. I am, not, I am not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's also the. I, I mean, I, I won't, I, I won't lie. I think there is the potential that we may get us another uh, ballot in the future. How? Because it, they did say at this time we are not asking for your requests. We are not taking requests. You know, they were trying to be right. professional and they polite about flooded. it. They yeah. got flooded last time. Yeah. So poor guys. Yeah. Poor guys. Um, I think when it comes to third party characters then they almost for sure have some backup plans in case a deal goes sour but in terms of first party like the the stylux example that might still in theory something like that could still happen just years down the line if not in this fighter pass it could be in a future one possible as a backup we could get uh like something similar to Samus, but completely different. We could get Federation Fighter. Oh God! <laughs> Just make that yeah. a me costume. Yeah. We'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think that there's a possibility that they have this as a backup, and this is why they're not releasing all the characters at once. 
At least that's the way I'm thinking of it. Uh, yeah. I mean, five characters, you could have easily said them all. Even if you weren't going to work on them all at once, you still could have Urban them. Champion. <laughs> no, no, no it, it makes sense <laughs> from a marketing perspective to keep the other four in the dark yeah. because it You're just right. the hype around it is what keeps it alive. I mean, yeah. I mean seriously, look at the hype of Joker. Right, 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 right. So, so, and now based on that precedence of just how crazy that it is, how much people are talking that the next four guys could be out of this world, you know, no one would have expected it. No one would have, you'd never seen it coming. And we'll go yeah. into that very, very soon. We'll go into that very, very soon. But first, uh, into our next category, more data miners have found out that in World of Light, there is some dummy files for 16 characters, with one of them being occupied by Piranha Plant, indicating that there may in fact be two more fighter passes in the future. I would be downright okay if, like, one of those packs was actually four Echo Fighters, and then five more bonus characters on top of that. Like, five more brand new characters. But let's give Sakurai a vacation first! Yes, please! The dude needs it! No, that's that's why he's making fire passes so we can fund his vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do you think that it's possible that we'll get five echoes and then after they're revealed, you can get them in their own fighter pass and then they announce the last fighter pass? And even if that's the case, what on earth could they put in the last fighter pass that's going to surpass this? Urban champion. <laughs> <laughs> so the what? That's the urban champion. He wow. was just on the uh, any uh, online. See, 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 it's it's perfect promotion. I think it's um, a genius idea. I honestly have this gut feeling. Well, if that... we're going with that, why don't we just put in Mike Jones? <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Are you with me, oh, yet, dude? Are you with me, quarter guy? Mike Jones is who. I, whenever you said urban champion, that's who I kept thinking <laughs> from right. Star Tropics. No, Urban she Champion says, you with us? Champion. You want Mike Jones? <laughs> Let's see, who was Mike Jones again? Star, Star Tropics. Tropics. Oh, right. That's who I kept thinking when you said Urban Champion, but both of them are great calls. Sorry, I, I have this gut feeling that this fighter pass, the one we're currently on, is going to be mostly third-party characters. But if we get a future fighter pass, then it's probably going to be... Mostly Nintendo first party characters. So when you say Urban Champion, Mike Jones, those are easy fits. You know, it would get a lot of fans excited. I'm just going to be honest here. I think the only promotional character I'd be okay with getting in for the ballot, or not the ballot, but the, for the Fighter Pass, please, please make it a Gen 8 Pokemon. That's. I, I'll sooner take that over another Fire Emblem character. What? Well, you don't yeah, want to see Marth the Fifth? Give, no give Marth the Fifth! Again. Give me Blaze again! Blaze again is an, he's an easy echo of Captain Falcon! Like, like you, and you can make him fight a little differently from Ganondorf or something like that. <laughs> just was it, was it, was, wasn't just there a spirit, wasn't there a spirit battle of Blaze again that was Captain Falcon? Yeah. That's awesome, I love that they noticed that! <laughs> We, we we all know that he that Blaze is gonna be a Gandorf echo and just pulls out a sword. <laughs> Blaze again! <laughs> but how? Uh, but the one I really want more than anything is Shantae. I really want Shantae. All of her games are on Nintendo consoles. Uh, she started on the Game Boy Game Boy Color, so it's like, come on! Like they like we got Shantae in a, as a spirit, and I'm happy about that, but. I I still want her as a fighter. I think she, she has some unique, some strong competition against Shovel Knight, but that's yeah. about it. That's a, that's the only real thing against her at the moment. But Shovel Knight's an uh, an assist trophy. Yeah, but that kind of tells me that they uh, kind of thought more highly of Shovel Knight to make him to give him animations instead of just using a JPEG image of him. Yeah, that th that was my thoughts also. I I think honestly, if there is another indie care, if there is an indie character added, um, not counting Minecraft, we're not going to get into that yet. But I think quote from Cave Story would be the best yeah, rep for as indie. he is the 
of He's Fox the grandfather. Rose. Yeah. By the way, I'm not and trying then, this. I'm not trying to sound like I'm putting down Shantae. I'm just putting my reasons no, as to why I think Shovel Knight mm. would get in over her. That, that, that's just my um, reasoning. Yeah, Shantae would be a great um, pick. I'm just thinking. If I could, or are we going to save this for the next point where we bring up characters who we, we, we think? Uh, I thought we. I thought that's where we were at. Who do we think it is? Yeah, I think it's time to just move into straight into the category of who do we think it is and who do we want to see, and we'll just end off the video like that. Uh, we'll just go uh, each person, and that'll be our nice little way to end this video, this very long conversation. I thought we were gonna end uh, at least with a couple of speculations on what Joker could have for his move set, because I do have a few ideas of what he could have. If we have time, if we have time, let's see what we get done here. Uh, so, okay. who do we think it is? There is the obvious Brave rumor, and it's supposed, and it links so heavily to the second Final uh, Square Enix rep that has been rumored for so long that it could either. Yeah. That it's probably going to be a Dragon Quest character. I, I really hope it's not. I'm sorry. I, just, I I have no attachment to the Dragon Quest series. So when you're telling yeah, me same. that of the other characters that were leaked that had characters like Sephiroth, which I don't believe for a second. You had Gino, you had Sora, you had Chrono. Let him in. You had a slime, you had like two other Dragon Quest characters. And I'm thinking, Gino, Sora, and Chrono are like the ones I want the most. Right. But right. you're but probably going to gonna of... give me Dragon Quest. But here's the thing, right. CJ. We, we have to here's think the thing, CJ. Old scale. If, if we, if, because if you look at Dragon Quest characters, it'd be the closest thing we get to Gino. Not to Gino, uh, Goku. To yeah. Goku. <laughs> now, there <laughs> is the pos Toriyama. Yeah. Now, there is the well, possibility. That would also work. That would also work with Chrono, since it's also. Oh, true. Don't forget the joke that Goku is already in Smash. Lucario. <laughs> uh. uh, but we're. Uh, there, we've heard some complications that they may not be able to use the music as much, or like the guy doesn't want it used. And I just gotta understand what on earth does a Dragon Quest character bring that no other character could? I, at least Sora to me can use the sword and magic, and he can use like different abilities. Maybe he'd be able to use like uh, the gravity or the time stop, or maybe have his down B be the circle of fire from Kingdom Hearts 2. Possibly. Uh, I have my own little moveset that I need to work on for that video. Uh, I still think his down smash needs to be explosion. That's the one where the little circle balls yeah. go around him. That, um, that needs to be it. Uh, Sora is in Super Smash Flash. <laughs> and for those uh, that want to tell us that Sora can't get in, it's like no, he can. We've been over this several. We've been over this enough times now because of the video with HMK that shows that. There are four things that need to happen for Sora to get in. Three of them have already have already been met. That's the strangest thing to me. Three of them have can been you, can met. Can you review what what are those four? I'm blanking right now. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to remember all of them, but I know there's at least four. One of them is. Uh, it, uh, I, I think Nintendo I know them. Fox. It's uh, no, no. Tetsuya Nomura as Square Enix seem to be okay with it. Yes. Get Disney it. see the fans want him in. Yes. Nintendo seems yeah. to send the invite. And uh, it would it wouldn't be a bad representation of the character. Yes. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And seeing uh, my perspective is, I think seeing as how much like Sakurai has like shown love to uh, all these characters, like I don't think he would rep represent Sora badly at all. Oh no, he no no. That, of the that it should be like that. That should even be a COD test. Like that. now, with how good he would be, that's uh. It all depends on which Sora they choose. I say Kingdom because... Hearts Two Sora because that's the one everybody's gonna be more familiar with. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, uh, I do feel like Sora would be a really good choice, especially at this point since Kingdom Hearts Three finally came out. Yeah. And, and here's something to also consider. Um, one of the modders um, decided to do add Brave and uh, uh, Jack's stats to already existing characters, and right. and one of the modders said like it felt like what you think Sora would play like, like yes. extremely floaty and hard to stop kind of like how luigi plays however there's only yeah. one thing that's really going against him and, the and that's the fact that like his height is about the same as ness however i think it's possible that it, it's not representing sora at his full height because usually sora like hunches over in his battle mode yeah so oh, i hear so that 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 might be it but we don't uh, really know because i think 
Eldrick is also pretty short, so this is gonna be yeah. very interesting. Now, I, I, my personal, I, I believe that it's gonna be Eldrick or somebody representing um, Dragon Quest, just because you have to think on a global scale how popular of a series Dragon Quest outside of, you know, the states. Actually, it's, it's, Japan. it's yeah, Japan is ridiculously. Uh, uh, it's extremely popular there, so I, that's and just also. I, and if you look at what Square Enix has been trying to do, they've been really trying to push Dragon Quest over here in the West. Right, yeah. right for the Switch. And this would definitely help that a lot because Smash really does promote games. Um, the thing is though, I don't see them. I really don't see them actually bringing in another Square Enix character character because honestly when you think about it look how stingy they've been with with uh with cloud he didn't get an english dub he didn't get any kind of new stage or anything he didn't get any new music he they didn't even bring in any spirits okay for, there are a number him. of things i do want to debate on you with that however you are absolutely correct about the spirits because even i thought that they should have at least put in the summons as spirit battles like yeah. that, that even makes sense. Sense. however when it came to the music I think that's more on Square Enix's fault, uh, especially when it comes to Final Fantasy. However, when it comes to the English dub, I blame that one on Nintendo of America because I've heard now this could I could be wrong here, but I've heard that Nintendo doesn't use uh, union voice actors and actresses. That's what I've heard. Interesting. I never heard that before. They, they could have done what fun. they. That's but interesting. Still, though, it does feel like Square Enix is a bit. Being a bit stingy with the uh, Final Fantasy, yes. I get that it's their yes. most popular yeah. series, but come on, you could have at least brought in the spirits like Tifa, Beryl, Sephiroth, or crying out loud. Yeah, I am not going to argue with you on that. And there was also the rumor going around that uh, Cloud was probably the last character added. Oh, uh, for for Smash Ultimate, yeah. and like they basically had to beg for it to get that. Oh no, that's title. that's yeah. probably yeah. why. Uh, I think that's what happened, or what Sakurai meant when he said he had to twist some arms to get some right, of these characters right, right. back. Yeah. And yeah. and look at Squ Cloud Spirits. They're not even artwork. They're just his renders. Yeah. Maybe maybe all these rumors about a Square Enix rep, maybe... No, that's the other the, thing is because... No one's going to be coming. No, no, that's the other thing is that I've heard that Square Enix is more than okay with doing DLC. They, I think they might actually enjoy it a lot. But when it comes to the base stuff... That's where they're really stingy. Yeah, You're I, saying in terms of keeping track of how many sales, it's easier, obviously, via DLC. Yes. So, so who knows? Maybe whenever whoever the Square Enix character is, maybe in that pack they'll also get, you know, some more me costumes and even spirits and stuff for Cloud. Uh, yeah. I will like, just also think... go on record and say this real quick, if I may. Uh. I think when, yeah. when we're looking at the characters that Sakurai has been putting in, he's been putting in characters that have been highly requested for a very long time. I don't think anybody can yeah. really deny that, and I think he's actually made quite a number of mentions about that. So for me, I gotta look at who's been more well requested. Has it been a Dragon Quest character, or has it been Sora? And I gotta uh, be honest, Sora by a long shot. I would think Sora. And even when uh, Push Dustin ran that poll a few years ago uh, in Japan to see what characters they wanted, there wasn't even a Dragon Quest character mentioned. Wow. Well, wasn't Dragon, there wasn't the Dragon Quest wasn't on people's mind yet because there wasn't a new game uh, out. You know, the new new game just came out last year or two years ago, something like that. Huh. So now it's back in the public's eye. Yeah, I guess that's and, possible. But then the same. But then again, you had the same thing with uh, Kingdom Hearts as well. Uh, I would right, also like right. to say that if people think that Disney's not going to give up a character that they own. First of all, Sora isn't exactly like one of their main mascots. It's like it's a joint ownership with them and Square Enix, right. but they do kind of that they do own the copyrights to them and all the characters in Kingdom Hearts except for the Final Fantasy characters. However, yeah. Disney's not so aggressive anymore to hold their characters. I mean, they put Thanos in Fortnite. So <laughs> that's a good call. Uh, yeah, that's a good that call. Was, uh, so I that was a doozy. and it's not like they're asking to put in Mickey Mouse. So I think Sora right. is not going to be a negotiating nightmare. Yeah, I I do agree with that one. And there's also the fact of it could be that their stinginess was more on just Final Fantasy in general because that's their like 
They're may when you think Square Enix, you think Final Fantasy, you know? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so it just it makes me think that Sakurai is really putting in characters that people really, really request. I mean, look yeah. at Cloud. Right. He was the most requested Final Fantasy character to get in, and he wanted to put it in. He wanted to re- fulfill that request. I really, right, really right. think that that's what he's going off of. What what characters are highly requested, as well as what characters can surprise us, as well as characters we never even thought could get in in the first place. Years ago, people Brother were thinking. Just, yeah, years ago, years years ago, people were thinking Sora would never get in because of Disney, and now it's like, what if that actually? What if he actually could get in? Right, that's why we're gonna get Goku, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why Eldrick's getting in because Goku, like, he's Goku's gonna have an orange smash, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, so, that, 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 he's gonna have an orange ult, and he's... I, I guess at the when it all comes down to it, I, I no longer really care if the, any one character gets in. You know, there are some characters that I would rather than others, but I'm never gonna like, I'm never gonna shun any character that comes in. I just personally yeah. have more of a feeling that it's going to be someone from dragon quest yeah um another another reason just i know we've been talking about square enix forever but when you re- remember that square enix is a merger between squaresoft and enix right. where we already have final fantasy being the child oh, of squaresoft i see what and you're going dragon. for yeah. and, and those two franchises are what made jrp is what, what they are too. yeah that is yeah. a very good point I'll, I'll, i definitely have to give you that one however i'm maybe just, i'm not going to change my 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 stance or my support right. for sora gino or right, Chrono, right of course no like one uh, of those any three. any characters we get i'm sure they're going to be awesome i'm sure sakura is going to do a good job um maybe we should move off yes, of yes Square Enix, yeah <laughs> we've been here for quite a while uh so okay. after what happened with my, uh, with Cuphead coming to the Switch and them saying our good friends at Microsoft, I don't think wink, it's wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, big, big. I, I'm pretty sure it's a guarantee at this point that we are getting a Microsoft character. Yeah, and 100%. Once, and once again, I think I really hope it's more of the surprise. It's the, char- the character you all wanted but never thought you would get. Here's Banjo Kazooie. Yes. Yes. Uh, please. Please. Please give us back Banjo and Kazooie. I miss them so much. Now, there is the possibility that, yeah, it could still be Steve from Minecraft, who would still, who is more popular and more (laughs) relevant. But I do believe that I don't think it matters too much in sales. It matters more in what we want. What the fans want. Yeah, because no offense, how much did Persona 5 make? Quite a bit. Oh, let me tell you that. How Probably much? It was the fastest was selling persona game. Checked. But how much it overall? I mean, and also no offense, but uh, look at Bayonetta. I wouldn't exactly call that a multi-million selling game before she was put in. There was, right. but there was also the fact of of a, of Nintendo. Nintendo thought she had still had plenty of potential. Yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but that's also what I'm going at here because. Think about it. Banjo Kazooie is something else that they that they may want to do with what now? Anyone? Oh, uh, a new game? Not exactly. Rarest replay. Thirty years, <laughs> thirty games, only on only on Switch, and it comes with Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Uh, I've seen this video I'm from kidding. Thumbs Up Master. He can show you like there is this uh, image and quote from somebody who knew uh, before all this talk about. Xbox games coming to, or the Xbox Arcade coming to uh, the Switch, that there was somebody and their team that knew about this stuff well in advance, and they right. said specifically it was about the rare deal and how they want, Nintendo wanted like the rare games for a classic Nintendo 64, as well as DLC. Right, right, right. Right. And so I've also I, heard, and I don't think it's in the same post, but I have heard that uh, Rare has not been profitable for Microsoft from ever since the buyout. Like, the only game right, that Rare has yeah. made a profit from, and a good profit at that, is Viva Pinata. And the rest was just Connect Sports titles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's really rare to hear from them anymore. Yeah, I'm but... I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Like I personally think Banjo's a lock. I'm curious. Do you guys think if Rare was never bought out by Microsoft, do you think Banjo would have been in Melee? Yes, he would have because. Yes. Well, actually, wait. Yeah. Mm. 
Maybe Brawl? Uh, it's hard to say. Maybe Brawl. Because uh, yeah. Melee was so tightly condensed that even... Oh, gotcha. Because they didn't even have they that... They couldn't big. even get Wario. I it's not I even that. At the very, they tried I think to get... at the very least, Banjo and Kazooie would have at least gotten a trophy. Yeah, because they... They couldn't even get Sonic and Snake in, and they were, like, right. extremely last-minute requests. So if they couldn't even get those characters in, I don't think they could have gotten Banjo-Kazooie in Melee. Uh, but definitely uh, Brawl. Brawl, for sure. Definitely yeah. Brawl. Yeah. Uh, also, CJ, the I do want to say, though, that Banjo-Kazooie's not the only ones, though. We There is a very slight possibility, might not happen, but a slight possibility that we could get the Chief himself, John, John 152. Wait, yeah, you're thinking of Master Chief, and <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of people are thinking that as well. And I'm not gonna say no, uh, but I think once again, this is going over the more who's highly requested. And Banjo Kazooie have been requested for years, yeah. their popularity yeah, was extremely. I want Banjo Kazooie, I want my Banjo Kazooie way more than Master Chief, but I'm just thinking, I just can't get that out of my head that we could potentially get Master Chief, and then we have the crossover, even more of a crossover to end all crossovers. I know. And it's, it's not like possible. I can't see them not doing it. Possible. It's not like I can't see them not doing it because uh, even though we don't really want them using realistic guns, he has like a different amount of sci-fi weapons and plasma grenades. Right. So... Yeah. Now, now, I just, now, I just want, now I just want to see a, a battle between Master Chief and the Inklings. That would be a <laughs> It's like, who... It's like our shooters versus Microsoft shooters. Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. But realistically, I really do think it's going to be rare. Even though the only true threat is going to be Steve from Minecraft. Because, let's face it, it's such a huge popular series. And Sakurai yeah. played like the original Minecraft before it was bought out by Microsoft. And I believe he was a fan of it as well. But I guess oh, it really... That's a good, I think good it evidence. really comes down to two things here. One... Which one is going to have a better moveset potential? And all I know, people sure. are going to defend Steve, and I have no problems with that. I just never played Minecraft, so I can't. I myself can't picture it. But Me neither. Banjo Kazooie, they do have a moveset. I'm just kind of worried it's not going to be as special as what we would like it to be. So may I actually just say some ideas on both of those characters? Go ahead. Um, for for. Minecraft for Steve. I've never played Minecraft. I've only seen videos of it. I think a lot of people imagine him playing kind of like a Toon Link like character just with a bunch of different tools. I picture Sakurai would focus more on the actual creating bricks or blocks and digging out of midair and basically being able to even like change the actual stage environment itself in that'd, some ways. That'd be interesting. You know what, that, you're actually giving me some ideas for his moves. Like, maybe one of, maybe his side B could be, like, him running on a pig as a charge attack. Yeah, it could, it could be something like that. I'm, I'm picturing, you know, you know Rivals of Aether, so, so yeah. Cra Crag, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, where his up B, he just makes a pillar of stone appear. So picture something along those lines. And even crazier, mm -hmm. right? Even crazier. Where it's 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 more of stage manipulation than it is fisticuffs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's it would be crazy in eight player smash, but it's not impossible, you know? Yeah. So oh, at yeah. this point I think it's gonna be more like who is the more highly requested. And I would also think it's gonna be more of the who was highly requested way back then, because after Cuphead got announced, people were saying like, Oh, Cuphead Cuphead could be really a good character for Smash and I'm thinking like you know they plan this stuff months in advance and they're yeah. gonna go with the characters that were really requested back then because they, yeah, yeah. 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 they kind of have that staying power plus so. there, plus i also have one other big thing thing about it and this might ruin cuphead's chances if it to, if i may go ahead well remember what cuphead it, uh, cuphead style is he's basically based around around the art Contra. style of a cartoon uh, cartoon and try to see if, on how that could translate into a 3d fighter like smash brothers oh, and it's honestly simple. i don't it's, think they could no no i don't think uh, they could, could really mr game and watch and toon link combination of both yeah but no, here's what here's, I'm, the, here's, here's all here's, here's what i think though i'm sorry let me just let me say this first uh i do think mm. that we could get steve i think steve could also still work as a me fighter costume and yeah, i'm also yeah. thinking yeah. cuphead could be an assist trophy. An assist trophy. 
Yes. For sure. Yeah, but but here's but, the thing about Cuphead. He's also mm -hmm. more of an indie character than he is Microsoft. Just he got the first console exclusive rights on an Xbox, but he's still developed by a completely indie or indie-ish studio. I don't know their status now. Thanks to our good friends at Microsoft, and that's all the proof I need that we're right, going right, to get right. something with a Microsoft Do, character for Smash. Right. They would not say something like that if they weren't hinting at Smash. Right, and right, there's been course. other things too, like the fact that they had the uh, Marina from Splatoon 2 and Peach using her, her, ult, her actual Smash alt on an Xbox dashboard yeah yep, that was yep, yep. Yeah. no so, uh, oh, a yeah. microsoft oh, rep right. is for sure happening if, if i can actually just backpedal to banjo kazooie sure uh, i was in the middle of uh explaining why i don't think cuphead would be likely oh okay go oh, ahead sorry sorry, sorry sorry uh the the main reason is that he's basically based around car old cartoons and well and yes while toon link is a good example though he like he had a cartoonish style but you know, he but he was still a 3D character. As Cuphead is not. He's completely, he's completely a old style cartoon character, what? and I feel like you couldn't really represent him that well, well in Smash Brothers because he would just look really off. Well, like he would just look really off in 3D. Mr. I, Game I and Watch. Like Mr. Chances. Game and Watch. I, I do have one argument just. Yeah, on but the Mr. Game, Game and Watch. Game & Watch is kind of the exception because it's like he he's completely black. Yeah, and that kind of well, helps. Let's not Mr. Forget. Game & Watch is a full 3D model that just has his Z-axis disabled. This is the same argument for why Paper Mario, for instance, might not be able to make it in just because modeling that character but cut off the Z-axis isn't impossible. It's just a lot harder to make a fully rendered 3D model with all of the animations when they have different, you know, different uh, uh, textures all around them. So I hear the argument, but I think it is workable. You know? I th yeah, yeah, especially it, it, because, also, like, so because Sakurai's done, like, s the impossible, it seems. Like, how with look at how many movesets he's done. Right. And he, there's still so many more. I mean, look at Joker. He, he can be very unique. I, I, don't, I don't think that there is a moveset that is impossible for him difficult i never said yes. the moveset was impossible but just getting yeah. look right would be really hard well ridley happened <laughs> oh. and he's using like his own original model like i don't see, think i've seen this version of ridley anywhere although he does seem to be based off of the super metroid's version but he's yeah, kind of like all these yeah, different he, versions he's an amalgamation yeah. bunch yeah yeah i, uh, I relax I, relax i, I just wanted to get that off my chest all right, so All right. basically those are the only two kind of franchises and characters that we kind of have a gut feeling are going to happen. The other yeah. two are a complete mystery to me, and there have been rumors speculating on who it could be, but to be completely honest, I don't believe any single one of them. I don't believe that we're going to get the Marine guy from Doom. I don't think we're going to get Ryu Hayabusa, even though I'd be more than okay with him. Uh, yeah. You mean you mean no birds on a stage? Yeah, no birds on a stage. <laughs> no stage bird hazards. No. By the it's way, a, the it's, it's a good assist Doom guy by the fandom. <laughs> yeah, Doom guy. I, I just don't see it. I'm sorry, I don't see it. Uh, so oh. for me right now, I really don't have a clue as to who they are. If it's who I want, that's a completely different story. I'd be more than okay with seeing Rayman get in. I think he's probably the first. Western character to get in besides a Microsoft rep, uh, and I'm talking third party, of course. Uh, personally, I'd be more than a, I would. Uh, I mean, what else do I really need to say at this point? The only characters left that I really want to see in are Banjo Kazooie, either Gino Sora or a Craw or Chrono, eh, and if there was ever the slightest possibility that. We could have assist trophies get turned into fighters. I want Bomberman. And you could just replace the Bomberman assist trophy model and make it max. Wouldn't make a difference. One one company that I feel people are like underlooking, overlooking uh, when it comes to Smash regulation is the, the company that's working on Smash right now, Namco. Yeah. Namco. 
Yeah, people like don't really bring up a second Namco rep when every other one has gotten one. I can honestly think you of know? three characters from Namco that can get in. Uh, okay, okay, maybe four. There's a Tekken character like Hayachi, although he is kind of relegated to the Pac-Man uh, taunt. However, I don't think that really takes his chances out completely. No, a it Tales of character, yes, please give me Lloyd Irving. Uh, yeah, even though I, I okay even though that. I hear that Yuri is probably going to be likely, although I think even before uh, Sakurai did say if he ever put in a Tails character, it would be Lloyd because Nintendo fans are more are kind of used to him. Right. And, I mean, heck, he was even in he was even a guest character in Soul Calibur Legends, which is exclusive. Yep. And there's also the possibility of a Soul Calibur character. And then I would say the last one would have to be. Uh, a good uh, not a good opportunity, but I could see it working. Klonoa. Yeah, I could see okay, that. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, that, I, that's been a while yeah. since for, for anything from for Klonoa. Me, but that's I would personally cool. want Lloyd Irving. Yes. Be, yeah. Yeah, I'd like Lloyd. Because a Tales of stage would bring Tales of music, and mm. yes, yes, yes. I need yeah, this. Yeah, that's very true. Right. Um, um, one. One Namco character that I don't think we've discussed yet was um, from Xenogears. What's the... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cosmos? Yeah. Cosmos, thank you, thank you. That Xeno Saga, Xeno Gears is PlayStation, and I will miss Xeno Gear. They were... Sorry, um, I to get that out. But it's all done by uh, Banda Namco mm -hmm. that... And... Uh... Actually, no. Uh, Xeno Gears was made by uh, Squaresoft. Oh... Before they right. became Monolith. Tying everything together. Oh, okay, yeah, Monolith Soft. Yeah, Monolith Soft is like Xenoblade, and they did some of the Xeno, the other Xeno stuff, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was that Xenosaga or Xeno Gears? I'm confused now. Both. I don't know the franchise I just, that they well. Did, I just, they did both. I just think it's, I just they, were, they used to be part of Squaresoft before. They used to be part of Squaresoft before uh, before the, the budgeting. Uh, for Xeno Gears got cut off, and that's right. why uh, Xeno Gears has a lackluster I, second disc. I, I just but think then it's... they left Squaresoft and made Monolith Soft. I just think it's so hilarious that instead of getting a Xeno Saga or Xeno Gears music, we got a Bait and Kaidos music instead for the Xenoblade Chronicles stage. Yeah. Which is yeah, honestly really cool. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are we talking about who we want to see? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing, because I think those are like the only characters that we really thought could get in. I think we... Did we talk about possible Echo characters um, before? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're... Something that to bring up with Heihachi was Takurai did consider him for Smash 3S and Wii U, but really couldn't think of a... Uh, a like, set. he didn't... Yeah. No, really a way to, make to implement him 3D fighting yeah. to work as a, in a 2D space. I mean, there is um, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, but to be honest, do we really want to take that, inspiration from that? I actually yeah, wiped that, that from my memory just already. I don't want to be reminded. <laughs> uh, actually, there's a much better representation of that. It could work. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Oh yeah. That's true. Uh, is it different <laughs> from what they've done for Battle Royale? No, I mean, no, no, uh, yes, it's basically, it's Street Fighter Cross Tekken, it's basically just Street Fighter with, uh, tech, with, uh, tech and guest characters, but it's mostly Street Fighter with a two-on-two, -two, uh, two-on-two, -two, uh, battle system. Uh, the reason why it didn't really take off is because of the gems, and that kinda killed the competition. Uh, but overall, with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, they had, I mean, they had a big batch of tech, it was basically half and half with Street Fighter characters and Tekken characters. And by the way, Mega Man and Pac-Man were also in this game as playable fighters. Yeah, but Pac-Man uh, had a mechanical cake, or wooden yeah, mech suit, the... so... Yeah, and then, the, Mega, and then Mega Man cake. was a bad box art Mega yeah. Man. Yeah, they were the joke characters, and they weren't even really representing their, their themselves that well. Smash yeah, has but, done them yeah, justice. But... Yeah, Smash has definitely done them justice. I just thought it would be funny to say that Pac-Man and Mega Man have fought before. <laughs> Which is funny. But, uh, yeah, but, yeah, uh, Heihachi can work in a, in a 2D fighter because of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and I can get you some footage of that, CJ. Uh, nah, it's all right. I don't think we need footage of that because I think we're all just about done here anyway. Uh... Was there anything else anybody want to say about who they wanted to see or who they hope to see? I haven't actually said what I wanted. Okay, your turn, and then you can talk about Joker, and then we're done. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so in terms of who I think on um, who I think will be getting in, I like I honestly do see uh, Travis touchdown <laughs> getting in. That was another one of those leaks. And it just makes me laugh because, yeah, I'm the first one that called that years ago. But even then, I still don't know if it's going to happen. I, I have well, a hard time seeing it. Think about it this it. way. Think about it this way, CG. I mean, they managed to successfully tone down Bayonetta, so they can do the same thing for Travis. Oh no, that's not what I meant. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking like, it would really have to be because of fan support to get him in, as well as Suda51 trying his hardest to beg him to get him in. I mean, well, with the Sakurai new game, uh, has, Travis. The Sakurai has said, uh, you know, I'm not going to let just any third party character into my game. Right. Referring which, to Mega which Man. Which is perfectly fair. Which, yeah, I'm so it saying... makes me think does is Travis touchdown in the league of that area? Or does he really represent something unique and special? Or is this just going to be be more of a friendly gesture because, yeah, I've had. Suda51 has worked with us on Smash and we're doing this as a way to thank him. Uh, I'm not sure, but either way, I'd be perfectly fine because I've always loved No More Heroes. It was one of my fav favorite games on the Wii, and the fact that we got a brand new game called Travis Strikes Again, um, I'm I honestly feel like that does help Travis's chances chances, uh, and I do feel like he. I, I do feel like he is pretty likely to be in the fighter pass. If not this one, maybe the next one or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I really do feel like uh, we could get Travis. Uh, I get, I also agree that I think Sora, Sora could be possible. But the last mm -hmm. one I want to the last one I want to bring up on who I think will get in is Monster Hunter. Because Oh, this mm. is... That's very difficult no, territory. That's sticky. Yeah. Well, um, here... Okay. Well, here's the thing. Thing. Uh, it's not that difficult because, remember, Monster Hunter was in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, so they can be a consistent move set for, for Monster Hunter. Plus, with all the... Plus, you can easily make some really good alternate costumes based on just the armor. Seriously, CJ, look up armor and you will find a bunch of different really good ones you can use for ults. Wasn't the developer of Monster Hunter upset of his inclusion in, in Marvel vs. Capcom? I think it was more like he did. He argued against it but reluctantly did it. Uh, that's what I can think uh, of. But, but still, though, I do feel like, feel like it's kind of likely because, first of all, Rathalos... Seriously, right, I can't right. believe he got in Smash, and he's a good boss. He plays like he does in Monster Hunter. Uh, anyway, sorry, off topic. Uh, but Monster Hunter, I feel like would be would be great. And it's ever since Rathalos got in, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people really want Monster Hunter to be in. So I kind of see that it's a little, it's at least pretty likely that we might get monster that we might get a Monster Hunter with just a bunch of different armor results. All right. Uh, before we go on, uh, what they should do? Did you say who what characters you wanted? No, may, if I can actually just the next four that I think. Um, when we were, were talking about Microsoft characters, I actually think we're going to get both Banjo Ooh. and Steve, mm -hmm. just because of okay. how big of a how big of a company Microsoft is, and how much they've been hyping up this potential friendship. So, I mean, I don't necessarily know this order. But I do think that, I guess it's more of a safe pick, um, that I do think all the um, Dragon Quest rumors are true. Yeah, so, I kind of agree, although yeah. rumors so rough. So, so, I think, so I think it's going to be Dragon Quest, and then Minecraft, Steve, and then with, in the same announcement, let's say it's at E3, they're going to say also Banjo-Kazooie. And that way you're reaching two different fan bases at the same time, but ultimately making everybody happy. And, and then... In the process. Yeah, exactly, exactly. One, if I just might do a quick side point, one thing about Banjo, just to make him even more unique, what if, um, what if, what's that little guy's name that gives you the transformations? Mumbo Jumbo. Mambo Jumbo. Mambo Jumbo, yeah. What if Mumbo Jumbo shows up in the background, similar to Pokemon Trainer, and you can do a special prompt to do a temporary transformation. Like, that could be the unique game above all the other moves that potential that Banjo has. There's uh, potential yeah, that... behind that. Um, I'm just not sure if you would ooh, just stay ooh, in the background. Imagine if, like, it. one turned into a, washing, he turned into a washing machine. 
<laughs> yes, <a> squash. <laughs> Honestly, I think that should be one of his down. I think that should be one of his taunts where he just he's randomly transformed into just, something. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Uh, although it would, it would be an interesting concept. Okay, we've got to wrap this up. So and then uh, yeah, just it's, it's my, my last. Pick. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, my my fifth pick. I personally do think Doom Guy, Doom Marine is going to be there. Really? Simply because yeah. I think they can tone down all the weapons, all the gore. They can make it look as sci-fi as possible. And there was this interesting concept. I don't remember where I saw this originally. That in, in Doom, in order to get more ammo, you need to specifically. Uh, hunt down your enemies so they could make it that all of his long range projectile attacks you can't just spam because the only way to get more ammo is if you get up close and personal so it would be a mix of captain falcon with i don't know uh samus or something or someone that's known to be more long range and it would be a nice mix of the two and just in terms of representation you know doom is what started off really the first person shooter genre so I think for that legacy alone, as long as they can tone it down so it's not insanely gory, I think it would be a perfect fit. I, and then you could have Master Chief as an Echo Fighter. <laughs> right, or, or, or a Spirit. Although I don't think that they would could, be okay yeah. with that, to be honest. I don't think Microsoft would really want one of their characters to be treated as an Echo. I see what you're right. going for, but I don't think that they would appreciate that. Uh, Smash Mario Pro, did you uh, see who you wanted yet? Uh, not yet. Um, oh, well, you got to finish okay. it fast. Uh, I'm sorry, uh Snake, I don't think we're going to be able to do Joker. I am almost out of time. I got like a minute left for Smash Mario Pro to say what he needs. All right, all right, quick. Oh, all right, jokes aside, uh, besides Darwin Chim, I really want Sora because I've wanted him in for a long time. I wanted him in the base version of Smash Ultimate, and he's my most requested character. I think he could have bring a lot of unique stuff with his Keyblade. And even though, yes, it would be technically a, another sword fighter. He's, I think, with how different he is in the game, how mobile he is, he can definitely bring something in unique. And for who I would think would be added, I think a Microsoft character is a lock. It's just up between either Banjo. Now, again, as uh, what they should do, did mention they could do both. But I think for this pass, I think they're just going to do one and maybe save the other one for later. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, more so. like it. Maybe a second Namco rip because if this if the rumors are true about Square, it, it kind of feel kind of sad for Namco just helping develop and just like be like, oh, you only get packed, man. That, <laughs> so it's like, it's it's like that scene in SpongeBob. It's like, hey, you got it's like the hey, I got my license. Yeah, like, I'm getting my third party character next. Hey, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody else? Cause I'm almost out of time. Sorry. Hello? Anyone? No, I, I think it's good. Okay. It's just a matter of I don't think waiting they, I can't really think of any, um, really anyone else. All right, so on that end, uh, sorry, but we have to cut the video here. I'm just about to run out of recording on my side. Sorry. So on that, thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later. Love you. Take care. Goodbye.